In this video, I'm going to talk about how one can estimate change in a function using derivatives. And this is done using the small increments formula. So let's start with an example. Here we have f of x is equal to the square root of x. What we want to do is approximate the change in f of x when x decreases from 15 to 12.5. So here's our function f of x. It's the square root of x. And what we're looking to do is estimate the change in our vertical axis when we go from 15 to 12.5. So what we're looking at is estimating this change that happens. What is that change in f of x? Now to estimate this change, I'm going to use the small increments formula. Now while I haven't referred to this as a small increments formula before, we have discussed this relationship before. Here we have delta f over delta x, that's d in Greek. It refers to change in f over change in x, and it can be approximated by df by dx, the first derivative. Thus, we get an estimate of the amount of change in the vertical direction by using our first derivative times the change in x. And we're going to use this relationship to estimate the change that we're going to see in f of x when x decreases from 15 to 12.5. So first, I'm going to need df by dx, our first derivative of x. Let's remember that f of x is equal to a square root of x, so that can be rewritten as x to the power of half. Therefore, df by dx is going to be equal to half times x to the power of half minus 1, negative half. Now what I want to do is I want to calculate that value at x is equal to 15, so I can determine the size of the slope at this point. So I substitute x is equal to 15 into this equation. And I get 0 0.129. This tells me that for every unit change I have in my x-axis, I would have a change in the vertical axis of 0.129. Let's use this derivative value and our small increments formula to determine our change in f. So our derivative at x is equal to 15 is 0 0.129, and the change in x we are looking at is going to be from 15 to 12.5. So I'm going to write this change as 12.5 would be my new value, minus 15 is my old x value. So we go new minus old. So that's going to be equal to 0 0.129 times negative 2.5. This is why we go new minus old, because it means that we're going down x values of 2.5. And this gives me an estimated change of negative 0 0.32, meaning that my f value will decrease when I go from 15 to 12.5 by approximately 0 0.32. The negative implies decrease. Now what I've done in essence here is I've taken my slope at this point and I've multiplied it by the length. This is a ratio of 0 0.129 for every one unit, but I'm looking at 2.5 units here, so I multiply that by 2.5 units. Thus, I get a decrease of 0 0.32. Now, this isn't exactly the value. It's going to be an estimate as it's taken the slope at this point, and it's kind of pulled that line down to this point. Now, there's going to be some variation, but it's a pretty decent estimate. Let's look at the difference between this estimate and what actually happened. Using my original f of x formula, Substituting 15 into the equation, <clears throat> the square root of 15 would give me 3.873. Substituting 12.5 into the equation, I would have 3.536. The change I would see in my f value would therefore be 3.536, the new value, minus 3.873, the old value giving me negative 
7. So we can see that the actual change is indeed different than the change that I estimated, but we can equally see that they are very close values and that using the derivative to estimate small amounts of change is pretty reasonable. I have to emphasize that it's for small changes, not for large changes, as the degree of error that we would see would increase as we increase the change in x value. So to summarize what we just looked at, we used what is referred to as the small increments formula for a one variable function where the change in f would be approximated by the derivative of f with respect to x times the change in x.